Hello everybody, Baronex Tyrannosaur is here with special guest Makoto Nayegi. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Now, for talent as worthless as his, it would be hard to make a video all about luck. So instead, we will be doing our top 5 dinosaurs. I'm sure he did the best he could coming up with an interesting video topic. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I wonder what made your little heart pick this video topic, Makoto? Well, I guess one of my favorite things as a kid was visiting the Fossil Museum. And I guess I've always had fun drawing dinosaurs, you know? I guess those kinds of things just aren't for me. I'm too busy doing things like managing business operations, though I'm sure you're trying your best to get the most out of life, so I won't push you. Jeez, can't you take it easy on me? No. But, will you allow me to take number 5? Uh, sure, go ahead. Number 5 is the T-Rex. They are the king of dinosaurs in pop culture, which also makes them the most boring. I'm not so sure about that, but did you know T-Rexes were the world's largest known land predators? And they've been researched to have the largest bite force among all terrestrial animals. That is such a you answer. Are you... Don't you think they're a little too oversaturated in the media? What's wrong with that? If people like something, then clearly others will make more of it. Also, the Tyrannosaurus isn't just the king of dinosaurs because of movies. Rex in Latin actually means king. Makoto, I like how you think you can just talk up to people who clearly know more than you do. I think I actually know more than you do. Number four, I guess, should be the Diplodocus. In Greek, diplos means double and dokos means beam, which refers to its double-beamed chevron bones in the underside of its tail. Speaking of tail, that and its neck makes it one of the longest dinosaurs we currently know about. You know what else is long? Are you seriously going to make that joke? I guess I thought too highly of you to figure out what I was talking about. Huh? It was going to be a segue into number three. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Number three is the Supersaurus, which is currently the longest known dinosaur we have discovered, coming in at 34 meters. Well, I guess the name Supersaurus makes a ton of sense, you know? An awfully simple name, don't you think? I guess you have something in common with dinosaurs, Makoto. Uh, I can't disagree with you on that. I am a little simple. But anyway, isn't number three usually supposed to be a joke? Yeah, but I really wanted that segue. Thanks again for ruining that with your childish joke, by the way. Uh, sorry again, but what if number two was the joke this episode instead? Sure, go ahead and wow us. Hmm. Hey, Biakia, look at this funny dinosaur I just found. Uh, apparently it's called the Suzasaurus. Kinda looks like a raccoon and bird hybrid, right? I suppose it could look funny to someone of your mental age. Number two should clearly be the chicken, as it is the current closest animal we have to a dinosaur. Why the hell did you let me take number two then? I know, right? I'm quite disappointed in myself. I should have really taken Kyoko's advice not to come on this show. Honorable mentions include the Stegosaurus, the Dilophosaurus, a bird with a yellow party hat on its beak. And finally, number one is the- Number one is the Albertosaurus. The reason why this is number one is because... Forget it, this video is no good. Uh, what? You're just gonna end it? This video just isn't interesting enough. You're just way too bland. Huh? This video topic just isn't making an entertaining video. No, it's wrong! I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling, Biakia, but I just want to make this video good. Instead of just following the rules for number one, let's just make our own dinosaur who's beaming with hope. I'm listening. We could use the head of a T-Rex, the neck of a Diplodocus, and the legs of a Supersaurus. You could add the body of a Suzusaurus. Yeah, but what should we name it? How about the Nagamisaurus? It's both of our last names mixed together, with Saurus added at the end. That's a little too much. 
Wait, you don't think people will interpret it that way, will you? I think you just ruined the number one spot. Uh, wait, we could just think of a different name, Byakuya. If it means anything, Makoto, despite the buzzkill, I have to say, you weren't nearly as boring as you normally were. Well, thanks, I guess. I think I'm gonna go home now. I hope the video turns out well. Tune in to more reptilian government conspiracies in the next video. Bye now!